All right, I wanted to make a video on how to make a field compass, um, just using regular household items and stuff like that. So I started reading online different things that you can use to magnetize needles and stuff like that. And magna, mag, magnetization, magnetization. Most of them don't work. I've been at it for 15 minutes trying to make a needle magnetized by other, something other than a magnet so that you can tell north, south, east, west, all that good stuff. Not all of us have a magnet, kitchen magnet, to rub a needle on and then put it on a, a leaf and set it in the water. So reading online, you can use wool, silk. Most people don't have silk when they're out hiking, camping, and all that stuff. Wool, maybe. Wool coats, blankets, socks. Um, hair. You think you use your own hair. So today, I'm going to try and do it with just hair. I'm going to see if a beard, a man's beard, will be able to magnetize a needle. So, let's go to whirl. All right, what I've got here are two needles that one I've already magnetized using the kitchen magnet and proof is in the pudding here. As you can see, I can touch a nail to it and it picks the needle up. The next needle I have has not been magnetized. I can touch the nail to it and it will not pick it up. So this is the needle we're gonna focus on. All right, here it is, just so you guys can see it. I've got the needle and it is not magnetized. All right, so online it says that you can take the eye of the needle. Well, this needle doesn't have an eye. It's got a flat end and obviously the sharp end. And just rub it 50 to 100 times against your hair, and it should magnetize it. Let's see if it works. I only advise using the flat end on your face or on your body because the sharp end might not work out so well. All right, I wasn't counting, but I'm assuming that was probably well over a hundred times. Let's see if we magnetized the needle or not. No, it is not picking it up. Let's try it some more. Maybe the beard won't work. Let's try using my arm here. All right, let's give that a try. Nope, not picking it up. They say you can use your hair to magnetize a needle. They're liars. You people online are liars. None of this stuff is working. I'm gonna see what else I can try and find around the house that might magnetize this needle. All right, let's go. This is Florida, and this is the kind of videos I have to make when I can't go out to the trails because it's storming and lightning out. Love it. All right, I had to go digging, but I found a wool sock. I live in Florida. I haven't worn wool socks ever down here. So I was able to find one of these from when I lived up north. Let's see if this will magnetize the needle. I doubt it. All right, moment of truth. I think these are wool, should be. No tag on them. All right, let me go see if I can find something that's actually labeled wool, because this didn't work. I think winter socks, wool, obviously not. Found a different brand of wool sock. Doesn't say wool on it, but this looks more like wool. So, my needle here, I'll give it a try. Really hope this works, because a lot of people take these things when they go hiking and camping, not uh, here in Florida so much, but up north. So this might prove useful if it works. It's not picking it up. Maybe I'm, my rubbing style is wrong. Try rolling it. Not picking it up. Let's see what else I can find.
Right, I'm recommending before you go hiking, camping, or anything, just take a magnet with you. All right, I discovered something interesting. They said you can use stainless steel to magnetize a needle. So I was like, okay, I need to go get some stainless steel. So I went out to my workbench, grabbed one of my knives. And cool looking knife, by the way. Let's rub it on this middle knife here. The reason I'm using this knife is because this is the knife that I would take with me camping. Good chopping knife, cutting knife. Could have started a fire by now. All this friction. If I can get this to work, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, you know, if I can't get this to work, I don't blame you if you don't. So, but please do. Oh, it caught it a little bit. Let's do some more. All right, the needle is sticking to the knife itself. So we know the knife is magnetized. Oh, you see that? Excellent. It's very little, but we've got it magnetized. Now I want to show you the whole reason why I was doing this. All right, so stainless steel knife, you rub it enough, should work. Wool socks, not so much hair, won't work at all. All right, so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. All right, the whole purpose behind me doing this was so that I could show you guys how to make a field compass. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I've got a blade of grass here that I'm just going to set gingerly into the water. I'm gonna set my needle right in there and see if it auto corrects. It's starting to turn. Let's see if it stops in the north-south orientation. Okay, it stopped there. All right, it's gotten the north-south and it's staying. We'll do it one last time and voila. You've got yourself a field compass that points north-south. Key is stainless steel knife. We'll do the trick. Um, takes a little while, a little time consuming, but um, if you're extremely lost, it could be extremely helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, using stainless steel knife, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.